If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 356. I don't really have a name for this one, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read you a rant about how you stack things to create success, and then I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. So bear with me because I write a little bit worse than I talk. All right. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> all right. So this is literally like I was training like a week ago. Uh, did my conditioning, you know, was doing my personal development. And then this just rant just kind of came out. And then I've just been kind of like, uh, deciphering and breaking it down since then. All right. So I wrote this, live the dream with me. And here's how it happens. Step by step. It starts with building up yourself with habits that are non-negotiable to build health and confidence because without, without this breaking molds are almost impossible. This gives you more life. It doesn't take nothing away. It's the opposite of what people think. I can live all my dreams because of the structure and the accountability guidelines for vices that don't take you off the path for confidence and success, but allow you some downtime. I know that it's not healthy to be all gas all the time. I realize that long-term success in a game plan has to, has to have some planned downtime too. I would argue it's required and you need to put a strategy in place for this, but because of the two points, before I made the brain fog, the brain fog is gone and the focus in the dreams ensure they ensue again. And not that you're numb, but you're alive and well, I believe after the brain fog leaves, the dreams start to become true again. Now that the focus and the belief are back because of the guidelines and the consistency happens to make these dreams come true. Actual action has to be made and has to happen to make the unseen become seen. Because consistency happens, you have more opportunities. And because you're not in brain fog, you won't miss them. You'll actually see them. You have to be aware and locked in so you don't miss the signs or your intuition will be out of tune. Because you see them, you'll have energy and habits to put in proper action to achieve them. Because habits and guidelines, now momentum is on your side. Because momentum is the hardest thing to create and it's the easiest thing to lose. But we want to create it and we want to keep it. Because all the above, belief increases, even more confidence increases, even more ability to handle adversity. Because now you have the habits and you're consistent. Your behaviors will help you weather the storm. Small wins rack up. Winning becomes normal. You expect to win. You only think about winning. You're around winners. You're teaching your family and your friends by them watching you how to win. And this might be one of my favorite lines. Even though you lose a lot it still looks like you're winning. People start to assume everything you do wins. The vibration around you of hard work, consistency, and winning. And that's how I believe it stacks. Now, the reality is that's a big fucking ramble and you have to decipher it, but they all work on top of each other. And so if I look at a lot of people wanna be successful, it has to really start with you. You actually building your body up and building your mind up, right? Because the things that you encounter as you try to create and do things and be outside the box, it takes a different type of person to be able to weather these storms and believe in solution based kind of things. And just to have that confidence that you will ultimately figure it out. And when I uh, talk about my, you know, non-negotiable routines and habits and schedule, like it requires all of it. So if I thought I could get away with less of that, I probably would do it, but I know I can't that every day. It takes me building my confidence with my body and my, in my mind every day. It takes me, you know, to do the personal development, to try to learn and be curious and, you know, just challenge myself in all of those things to help make sure that I can be pinpointed in my solution-based findings and my decision-making. And as these opportunities come about, then my, my intuition is like, and my antenna is up and kind of can see these things happening. And then once I say, ah, this, this feels right to me, then the action I can put around, I have the energy for the action. And if you just keep stacking those things, 
even like I said, even when you're taking L's, you're so focused on the ultimate win that it doesn't even matter. And so you might have to listen to this a couple times and I might've stumbled across my words a few times, but this thing is something that couldn't be more true of how I got here. So this daily fire is a ramble of how to get to success. You can, you know, take it apart, listen to it a few times, comment on G social and let me know maybe things you want to know more of, but this is what came out one day after uh, after a workout and I thought I'd read it to you. So daily fire episode 356, the Corey G success ramble. We out.